Hi, this is going to be a quick demo of some of the new Step LFO features in Silent Way version 2.2. Here's the uh, new Step LFO UI. You'll see that it's much the same as it uh, was before, though slightly rearranged. Um, the new thing you'll notice is a little few more buttons over here, um, which switch between some different uh, controls, because there's now too many to see all at once. And then the rather nicely named big one, which simply does that to make uh, the Step Editor nice and big. Um, which can be helpful. So let's get a sequence running. Um, the first one I want to show you is the new gate uh, control here. Um, what this does is basically put um, each step only plays for a percentage of its normal value. So if I do this, You can see that it's the line there is actually the waveform. This is exceptionally helpful when you're using it like this as a step sequencer. Um, should probably have said this is the pitch and this is going to a gate or an envelope generator because it means you can basically draw out rhythms without having to leave gaps all the time for the envelope to re-trigger. So that's rather nice. And of course you can do that on the, the pitch as well, you don't just have to do that on the, uh, the gate signal. If I do this, for example, you can see what's happening there. Um, this also works when you're using uh, linear interpolation mode. It's possibly less often useful, but just to show you that it does, does do what you'd expect. Um, so that's gate. Um, uh, next set of things I want to show you are the inputs. Um, as was often requested, we now have the ability to reset and trigger um, the step LFO, both from incoming CVs, um, which I'm not going to demo just because I haven't got anything connected up, but if you had something like an ES6 or an ES7, you could reset and trigger from a CV from the modular, but you can also do it with MIDI, which is what I'm going to do here. Um, so if I hit this, which I've got, got a, a MIDI keyboard um, sending a reset note there, um, which you might find useful. And there's also, um, as regards triggering, there are um, two more sync modes now, Trig Free and Trig Tempo, which basically mean that it's advanced on a trigger. So that's me pressing a MIDI keyboard to advance it. And if I do um, both of them together, you can see they're advancing. And of course I can reset that. So that's all well and good on MIDI. You can see with CV doing that, you could um, basically have this as a um, run-of-the-mill um, hardware step sequencer kind of thing going on. Let me put this back to transport for now. Um, the other new set of um, controls, which is possibly more interesting, is this one, random. Um, this adds in a... Um, popular kind of random generator based around a rotating shift register. Um, I'll just turn it on and then you'll see what it's doing. Um, so here's our little shift register going round and round and as you can see it actually writes the random values back into the um, normal step LFO area. So if you um, disable the random then that pattern kind of sits in the thing and you can just edit that if you don't quite like exactly what it's doing. Let's turn that back on. Um, let's, let's just get that going a bit faster. So we've got adjustable length on the random pattern. See that's now longer. Um, got an adjustable number of bits on the uh, kind of what is effectively a digital to analog converter. Um, that's eight bits, so you've got 256 step values. If I wind that down to say two, so you've just got uh, four different values it can take, or one. Really seriously minimal pattern there, but uh, there we go. And of course, as you'd expect for this kind of random generator, there's a randomness control. 
So if I wind that all the way up to one, you see, it's now no longer random. And if I back that off a little bit, it'll just change every now and again. Oh, there you look. There it goes. Exactly as you expect, and as you also was common with this kind of thing, if you wind it down to a negative, then you get um, a repeating pattern that's twice as long. If I put the uh, length up to 16, let's see what that's doing. There we go. All good fun um, with random. Um, oh, and the other control I didn't show you is. Um, change the order of the um, rotation direction of the bits, which is quite nice. Um, and again, this works with um, not that, linear mode. And with this, it's more useful to put on that control. So now we have something else that's um, often asked for is random, random slewed voltages. Slow it down so you can hear what it's going doing, but uh, do that faster. Being this step LFO, you can of course use all these other controls while that's happening, so you can still apply things like asymmetry. And a swing is another nice one to put on. Um, Um, that's it for now. Um, I'm going to release this new version right now, so enjoy. Cheers. Cheers.